Hello guys, this is Juan Felipe and welcome to another video. Last time I did a video about how the Xbox Series S could easily replace a gaming PC and why is the best option right now if you are on a budget. On this occasion I will go deeper on my budget Xbox Series S gaming setup. Let me show you guys around the key pieces and give you some options and tips to create yours. So let's get into this. About the Xbox Series S, go check my full video for more details but right now, this is the centerpiece of my gaming setup where I can play the newest titles with no problems at all. The Xbox is capable of delivering a smooth and engaging gaming experience. This is just the go-to option right now if you are trying to reduce costs coming in some retail stores at 250 or 260 but you can even get it for 200 if you look for a second-handed unit. That extra cash you saved can be spended in an annual subscription for Game Pass Ultimate and get access to a tremendous library of spectacular games and latest releases. In terms of the screen, I am well aware that the Xbox Series S can deliver up to 120 FPS gaming, but the monitor I currently own is the BenQ EW3270U. This is more of a piece for content creation, design and media consumption. Also did a full review about it if you want to check it out. The thing is, this monitor can go up to 60 FPS in gaming, which is just enough for a casual gamer like me. I don't play any competitive games like Warzone, Fortnite or Overwatch, which are the type of games that, in my humble opinion, can really take advantage of those 120 FPS. I enjoy playing story-driven and RPG games like Elden Ring, Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed or maybe some shooters like Gears 5. 60 FPS are just right for that type of gaming. The BenQ 3270U with a matte finish delivers an incredible image quality. Being 4K assures that I can enjoy my games with the 4K upscaling techniques of the Xbox and with HDR10 support. Beyond that, the Xbox is capable of delivering native 4K media consumption on streaming platforms or YouTube, so if you are using the Xbox for more than gaming, a 60Hz 4K monitor could be an option for you instead of a high refresh rate monitor. It's up to you to decide how to spend your money. But if you decide to go for that option, I've been looking online and found out that LG 32 GK 650 FB is a great and budget option to consider. It's 1440p and 144 Hz. Let me know in the comments what you prefer. Even if the monitor comes with built-in speakers, they sound absolutely terrible. To cover this, I have the Logitech G Pro X an amazing and really popular gaming headset. I won't tell you that I tested all the headsets in the market at this price, but I did make an analysis on paper for what they have to offer and my conclusion was that this Logitech G Pro X checked all my checkboxes and delivered on all the things I asked for and needed. The sound quality, the minimal design and the durability are key points of this device. They have a collaboration with Blue for the mic, so they have you covered in that aspect too letting you have a clear and sharp voice while playing with your friend or personalize it as you want. In conclusion, they are an all-around good piece of tech that will offer the right amount of value for your money. They are wired so I always have to connect them to the controller, no issues for me at all, but in the extreme case that I needed, I can use my media headset, the Sony WH-XB910N, a powerhouse of immersive audio. With their sleek design, powerful sound, active noise cancellation, and wireless convenience, these headphones are a must-have for music and videos. That would wrap up my setup, but if you have some extra cash to burn, don't mind on get an external SSD like the Samsung T7 SSD. Remember that you can storage your games, but not play them directly out of the external SSD, or if you feel expensive at the moment and you can wait for a little bit, Microsoft just announced a couple weeks ago a new console, the Xbox Series S Carbon Black, having a 1TB SSD and going for 350 bucks, which means 50 more than the regular console. That's all I wanted to say. Guys, a full review of the space is in the works, so don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. See you on the next opportunity.